Hi guys, today we're doing a uh, review, a uh, investigation, and adventure of uh, Vault Number Eighty One. Let's get started. I don't know why it does, but it's gonna right happen. There. Pretty famous. What's with the third degree? It's called protocol. Think we just let anyone in here? Think again. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. I'm a vault dweller, you idiots. Oh, that's very nice of you. Funny, see. I'm interested. What is it you need? Fusion cores. Oh, I have a lot of fusion cores. I already have the fusion. Really? I'll be down to me. Uh huh. Yeah. I wonder what's going on here in Vault 81. Seems pretty weird for a vault. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? I'll Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few mate. Gwen McNamara. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self That is suspicious. There are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Why do you keep yourself so isolated? Why not? We have warm beds, clean clothes, a solid roof over our heads. Our food and water are radiation free. We don't deal with the elements or raiders. We're safe here. And for some, that safety and stability is what counts. Mm -hmm. Aren't you curious about the Commonwealth and what it has to offer? Of course. But my duty is to these people and keeping them safe. We receive a few select traders often enough to stay well informed. That's why I like to use a give-and-take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of... Of course. Here they are. Thank you. Dr. Pence... Now? Most everyone here. Although that <coughs> power armor may make a few people nervous. <coughs> what about the dog? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this mm. long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Hope you're not making any trouble. Let's start looking around. No signs of radiation. Impressive. But that's a radiation check machine. Watch out for the maintenance. Never ends. What I wouldn't give is some real time off. Excuse me. Yeah. I heard we had a traitor in today. Don't go Our feeling all special because the overseer let you we in. We have raiders here. here, you know. You weren't the first. You got guts wearing that pit boy in the Commonwealth. Dr. Fensky runs I can't believe someone hasn't Radio tried to steal it. She may have some new equipment if you're interested. All quiet here. Stay tuned for Minutemen Alerts. Oh, follow the overseer. This is Radio Freedom. Tell me. Broadcasting all day, all across Bye. the Commonwealth. All's quiet across the Commonwealth. Stay safe out there. Hell yeah, Sorry, I am. I knew it. Hey, I can show you around just five caps. Uh, five caps. Why don't you sure. do it for, do it for free? Okay, okay. Well, you're a real Tuesday. We'll start over here. Oh, you better do a quick save. So you can't do something wrong.
It's midnight this is here the at Deeper. Radio Freedom. The Combs family running. Aaron and I are best All friends. Quiet. My mom and dad try to run. Like so I don't Stay like to go in there. Uh -huh. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. Good to know, Austin. Thanks. See, I told you I know things. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet you... Ooh, and Raiders. I bet you fought Raiders too. Let me turn off the radio so you can hear more clearly. She's in charge of all of the security officers. It doesn't happen very often. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice though. You'll like them. Mm, it's pretty suspicious everybody has a pit boy. How, many, how come they have so many pit boys? You guys see noodles maybe, I don't know. I see you're showing our guests from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. How's their food? Other than the pies. I like it. Mrs. Somerset always sneaks me seconds. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? Yeah, boy, how do you get pit boy? It, Is it because you're a boy? That's why you're a pit, pit boy? Oh, look, it's a barber. fixes up people's hair. Darren's mom comes here all the time. Grand hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair though. It's not fair. <laughs> Would he do my hair? Sure. He can turn your hair into anything. I wanted him to make my look like school, but Grand wouldn't let me. Next stop is Grand. Let's go see Grand. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother though. My parents died when I was real little. Hmm, your parents died when you were real little? Really? Hi, Gran. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering him. I'm helping him. Hmm. That's Gran. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Penske. She acts all grumpy. That's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. Mm. You don't get anything from the Commonwealth? Nope. Grand grows it all year. She's really smart. Hmm. Next stop, Miss Kate. Mm. Come on, hurry up. We gotta go to the other side of the ball. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. Well, I did. I, well, but it was like 200 years ago, I guess. It's, a, it's boring most of the time. A grand says I have to go anyway. The grand is a smart woman, Austin. Are there a lot of kids in the boat? Not that many. The yeah. overseer says that we're using population control. Whatever that is. Next stop is the medical plant. Population Let's control. Interesting. I'll show you the clinic. Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess. But I don't go there unless I have to. Or unless Grant makes me. Hmm. Population control and your parents dying. That's some suspicious circumstances.
This is our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, come down here. Dr. Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Did you ever get sick? Just colds and stuff. Hardly anyone here gets sick. Mr. Somerset broke his foot once, though. They put a big cast on it, and he had to walk on crutches. Now we go see Erin. She's going to be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. Erin and I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. Mm. Oh, the family room. Erin, look who I found. A stranger from the Commonwealth. Wow. You're really from the Commonwealth? You're Austin's best friend. We've been friends forever. There aren't a lot of other kids in the vault. Thanks for doing my tour. I was so cool to show you off to everyone. Wait up. Hey, Austin. Pretty good tour, eh? Right? The overseer says I'm good with people. Way better than Graham. But I don't know. I think Graham is good. At least but I need your help issues. here. <laughs> if you need anything from the depot, stop by in the morning. Hi there. It's a really suspicious step. Hmm, the giddy up. Excuse me, mister. Have you seen my cat? Ash is gone? What happened? He scratched me. And I yelled at him to go away. I didn't mean forever, though. His name is Ashes. And he's the best cat in the whole world. I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. <laughs> No one else would set foot outside for him. Where do you think he may have gone? Not far. He'd be terrified. I'm sure if there's anywhere nearby to hide, we'll find him. I'll find him for you. Thank you. His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. Austin. Grant is in my bottomless pit when it comes to food. Is that power armor? I've heard of it, but this is the first time I've ever seen it. Hey. The Commonwealth sounds so exciting. And dangerous. Mm. Well, you have a pit boy too. Austin, is this your room? That looks cool. How are you saying yes? You're dead. Well, I suppose this is the end of the part one of the exploration of Vault. I'll see you at part two. Thank you guys.